So it's been almost a year since my last video. Yes, I know. You can stop bitching about it now. This speaker recently came into my possession through a friend of mine, the Dustrum, and I thought as a little fun project, I could design and build an amplifier to put in it to turn it into an active or powered speaker. According to the print, the speaker is rated for a max input of 20 watts at 8 ohms. However, after opening up the box, the driver inside was only rated at 5 watts. So I set out to design and build a simple amplifier that could deliver 10 to 15 watts before too much distortion set in. A few hours of experimenting led me to an interesting design that consisted of only four transistors set up as two Shiklai or compound Darlington pairs. At a single rail voltage supply of 26 volts, it was possible to produce a peak power output of just above 20 watts. However, because I was using a simulator to design my amplifier, I suspected that these numbers may significantly reduce during the use of the amplifier. I managed to find an old transformer that put out a peak voltage of 24 volts, and after adding some extra turns of wire in series, the peak voltage jumped up to 30 volts. After assembling the amplifier on perfboard, I turned it on and heard the infamous mains hum. This annoyed me a bit at first, but it helped me realise that there was a flaw in my design. So I poked around with the oscilloscope and worked out that I needed a fully regulated power supply in order to accommodate my amplifier design. Of course, the first thought was to just buy a voltage regulator that fit within the ratings. However, since regulators that have the 3 amp plus rating that I needed cost up to $20, I bought a 24 volt 1 amp fixed voltage regulator for $1.50 and used the output of that to drive the base of an NPN transistor. This formed a voltage regulator that could handle about 5 to 10 amps depending on the heat sinking and temperature. And after that, things sounded great. I needed to drill a hole in the back panel to allow an RCA cable to be connected to the amplifier. And after that, I drilled some holes in the bottom panel to mount the transformer. I mounted the heatsink upright in the back panel and used double sided tape to stick the circuit board down. This is what the internals looked like before I closed the back panel up. The finished product indeed looks very clean and professionally done. You can't tell that there is a huge mess of wires inside when the only thing you can see from the outside is a power cable and an RCA plug. And the results speak for themselves. God, you gotta say it's gonna be